Hey guys, how's everybody doing this morning? It's Brad with Vagrant RC here. I hadn't put anything out lately. I've been super busy with work and stuff. It's been crazy. I haven't even had time to make videos. Um, so, um, in my in the little bit of spare time I do have, I've been trying to build a Sorkel Eagle Class 1 comp truck. Um, that turned out to be this little rig right here. I'm going to go over it with you real quick and kind of show you all what I built. Um, so, let's flip this camera around and take a look. All right, guys, here we go. Um, so the chassis we're sitting on is a GK uh, competition chassis, GKC1. It's their class one chassis. Um, same company that I've got my class two rig on. Uh, that's the GK01 Pro. I've also run the old school GK01 before, and I actually own a GK02 as well. I'm a big fan of his products. Um, I haven't built anything on my GK02 chassis um, yet, but it's, I'm sure something will happen with that. Um, so let's pop this top off. So the body here, of course, is a RC four-wheel drive. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. The uh, Toyota body. Um, and uh, of course, you know, we got it outfitted. Uh, I think currently right now, the way I counted up, I'm sitting at 66 points for uh, Sorka Class 1, which of course is uh, more than, you know, you can actually get, so, or uh, get credit for. So, um, I don't know, we're, we're still, I literally just got my first good test run in with this truck here, just finished it up. Uh, the first test run I had, I actually had a catastrophic failure um, on a drive shaft, but we got that straightened out um, and, and got going. So this is my second time to come out with this truck and get it running. Um, so we got that going. Uh, got titanium bumpers that I ordered from Corrupt Carbon Works. I'm not sure where he sources those from. They're fantastic, super lightweight. Um, got front and rear on that. Um, you know, little scale items like my Vagrant RC, GKC1 license plate. Um, and of course my other little items in here to count for this. Um, I like running the skeletons in there because they're lightweight. Um, I built my interior from um, um, Kydex seats and styrene um, is what I built the dash and floor out of. Let's see if I can get it to focus in there. It's not wanting to focus for me real good. But um, some little scale items in there, shifter, whatnot. And then uh, the roof rack is from Blacklisted RC. Um, it's uh, Sorka Legal for 2023. It is right at two inches by three inches. Um, of course, I've got the hanger pendulum there for pendulum uh, winching. Um, the um, roll bar is from RC Fab Tabs. You got a sale going on those a little bit ago, and I picked that up. That thing is super nice, very well done. I really like that thing. Um, so here's the under side of the body. Let's get into this chassis um, and what's going on over here with the mechanics part of this. The wheels I'm sitting on are the first time I've ever run these. They're a newer wheel that was just released. They're by Vision RC. Um, sorry, they're dirty. I just got out, literally just got done running. Um, it's pretty dusty out here. So Vision RC, these are the S7 model. They're 2.2, they're about 0.8 wide, so they're nice and narrow. Um, and I've got 2.2, um, I'm sorry, 4.19 J-Concepts landmines on here right now. And I'm sitting on ALT foams. They actually build a ALT foam designed to go with this tire on a 2.2 rim. So um, it works out really well. I'm a big fan of the ALT foams. They're a fantastic product, uh, super lightweight. They side, side hill really well. They conform to everything really well. And you can buy them uh, different sizes or different stiffnesses, of course, for your weight of rig. Um, servos, nothing but the best. Shift RCs, I'm running the, on the uh, steering servo on this one. We're on the GT3S, it's their low profile model. Um, fantastic little service. My first time to run this actual servo, I usually run the GT3. And then on the winch, of course, the Beast XLP, Shift Servo XLP winch. Um, drivetrain here, we've got the um, Team Garage Hack Ford motor mount uh, with a spur locker on it. Um, hooked into uh, XO titanium cut to length drive shafts uh, throughout. So for the transfer case, front and rear drive shafts. Uh, transfer case is of course the Creeper T. Um, and then the motor is the Holmes Hobbies uh, Teams, uh, Team Edition 1900 KV for 2023. It's the 540 SS. I'm also a big fan of that 540M motor. It's a little bit bigger. I like the drag brake uh, a little better on it actually. Um, but this thing is nice. And so I wanted to run this in this truck and give it a shot. I'm really liking it. Um, it's held up really well. Um, ESC, of course, is the one and only Silent Assassin ESC. Fantastic product. Um, just really good stuff. And of course, I'm running a Castle uh, 10 amp BEC in there. Uh, shocks, I'm running the Ultra Short or Super Short 
uh, deluxe fab. They're the, I think they're 84 millimeters. I tend to run medium springs in the rear, soft in the front, which is what I'm doing on this truck. Um, and then uh, my axles, I'm sorry, my links are um, the new links that now are offered by um, Vanquish Products. They're the builder's links where you order the length you want. So I took my measurements um, this time and uh, decided to get my own. Of course, they come straight. You can't order them bent. But if you can see in there, I did manage to put my own bends in the, the lower rear so I can get that breakover angle there. So I kind of measured those out and, and did that. Uh, axles. So my favorites. Super shafty. Uh, these are the CP43s. They're a little bit narrower than a Capra and a little bit wider than a uh, AR45P. Um, so that's that. Um, of course, they got their brass knuckles on there. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, under, so, of course, the Creeper T provides 30% uh, um, overdrive to the front. And then I went ahead and added underdrive to the rear. Uh, don't usually do that much over, so that, that gives me another 10%. So now I'm sitting at about 40% overdrive to the front which of course I don't usually do on like a trail truck for example but um, comp truck of course you know I, I like that you know high 30s low 40s um, overdrive some guys like even more than that they get up in the 50s and 60s range but um, I digress that's that's all a lot of personal preference and driving style um, I kind of like that 40 40 percent range in there I've tried more I've tried a little less I like that right in that area so um, so this is my new class one comp rig of course the chassis is the GKC one I believe I already said that but uh, from GK competition crawling chassis so hope you all enjoyed the build it's been a lot of fun to build um, of course labor love oh and I didn't cover this my sliders actually are made by or I made them they're from Kydex so, um, which I like a lot, it actually slides better over the rocks than the aluminum does. And if you can find a way to get your circle points another way, why not, um, you know, slide a little better over the rocks. So, um, that's where I'm at with those. So anyway, my little, my little favorite thing to do there on those trucks. Um, okay. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys.